In this video, we've got great news for all you Will Smith fans. His new movie, Emancipation, is set to come out this year, and we have all the details so far. We'll also look at how much money Will Smith made from Emancipation. Some say he only got paid $20 million for it, but we think there's more to the story than that. So stay tuned and we'll reveal all the details. Firstly, let's have a brief look at what Emancipation is. Emancipation is the act of being freed from slavery or servitude in the context of human beings. Beings. Emancipation refers to the abolition of slavery and the prevention of human trafficking. It can also refer to the release of a person from legal guardianship or other restrictions on their autonomy. Emancipation is a concept that has been widely discussed and debated throughout history. The philosophical underpinning of the concept of emancipation is the belief that all human beings can have certain inherent rights, including the right to freedom. This belief has led to movements to achieve emancipation for groups of people who have been denied their freedom, such as enslaved people, women, and ethnic minorities, while emancipation is a goal that many individuals and groups have pursued, it has not always been successful. In some cases, attempting to achieve emancipation has resulted in violence and conflict. Nonetheless, the idea of emancipation continues to inspire people around the world who are working to achieve freedom for themselves and others. Emancipation is based on a true story and sees Peter, Will Smith, fight for his freedom and his family. Emancipation is a forthcoming historical historical movie that will star Will Smith in the lead role. The film's story centers on a slave who escapes from the plantation he works on to find his family. He navigates his way across the Louisiana swamp while outwitting the ice-cold hunters he encounters along the route. Peter eventually enlists the Union Army, and during his medical examination, the officers observe the scars on his back that were caused by a severe beating that came dangerously close to taking his life. Smith is no stranger to performing historical roles, and it is safe to say that he will also deliver an outstanding performance in this part. The events depicted in the movie are based on real events, showing Peter, Will Smith, battling for his freedom and his family. Next up, Will Smith says emancipation is about resilience and freedom. He said, Throughout my career, I've turned down many films that were set in slavery. I never wanted to show us like that, and then this picture came along. It's a film about faith. It's a film about the heart of man. What could be called the first viral image in the backbone of the entire story and resonates strongly with Smith, this was a story that exploded and blossomed in my heart that I wanted to be able to deliver to you in a way that only Antoine Fuqua could deliver. Smith also thanked Apple TV for moving forward with the film. He posted a note of thanks on his Instagram page, quote, This was the hardest movie I've ever made, says Smith. Blood, sweat, and tears, literally. Shout out to Apple, who doubled and tripled down on their commitment to deliver this epic story to the world. So, let's discuss slavery in America and the importance of freedom. It's easy to take freedom for granted. We live in a society where we are free to make our own choices, speak our minds, and worship as we please. But it wasn't always that way. Slavery was once an accepted part of life in America. America, and the fight for freedom has long and hard. The roots in slavery in America go back to the colony's early days. The first Africans were brought over as enslaved people in 1619, and the practice quickly became entrenched in the social order. For generations, enslaved people were bought and sold like property, treated brutally, and denied any basic rights or freedom. It wasn't until the late 18th century that a movement began to abolish slavery nationwide, led by abolitionists like Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman. This movement eventually won widespread support. It led to the Emancipation Proclamation of 1863. Yet, even after emancipation, African Americans continued to face discrimination and violence throughout the country. It would take many more years and more lives before they finally achieved full equality under the law. Today, we honor those who fought for freedom with ceremonies like Juneteenth and Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We also celebrate Black History Month as a reminder of how far we've come and how much we owe to those who sacrificed sacrifice so much for our freedom. Without their courage and determination, America would not be the free and prosperous nation it is today. Next, who is the cast of Emancipation? The upcoming film stars Will Smith as Peter, Ben Foster as Vassal, Stephen O.G. as Sergeant Howard, Charmaine Bingwa as Dodiene, Gilbert O'Wur as Gordon Mustafa Shakir as Andre Kello, and Grant Harvey as Leeds. Finally, when is Emancipation coming? The film was screened for several groups, including the Congressional Black 
Caucus, Historically Black Colleges and Universities, the National Council of Negro Women, the National Coalition on Black Civic Participation, and Power Rising, the film will have a limited release in select theaters on December 2nd, 2022, before releasing a week later on December 9th, 2022, on Apple TV+. The film is an Apple exclusive and will only be made available through Apple's streaming service. The rights were made available at auction and nearly bought by Warner Brothers, MGM, Lionsgate, and Universal. Still, Apple ended up being the highest bidder, beating out Warner Brothers over the finalist. With their release date, the film is in the middle of award seasons. So how much was Will Smith paid for Emancipation? Variety revealed that Smith was paid $35 million for Emancipation, even though he was paid somewhat less than the projected $40 million for his major role in the 2021 movie King Richard, he was paid a significant amount for the Emancipation movie. Smith showed generosity in light of King Richard's pay. There are rumors that he gave the actors and actresses more checks. He took this action after it had been determined that the film would have a simultaneous release in theaters and on HBO Max. Bonuses were distributed to compensate for any potential drop in revenue caused by the streaming distribution. Finally, a brief insight into Will Smith filmography. In the 1990s television series The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, he played a fictionalized version of himself and achieved success. He received both two Golden Globe Award nominations for Best Actor, Television Series Musical or Comedy, and International Acclaim for the Part. In addition, he worked on 24 of the show's episodes as an executive producer. Two years later, Smith made his acting debut as a disabled homeless guy in the drama Where the Day Takes You. He co-starred as a police officer in Michael Bay's 1995 film Bad Boys, starring Martin Lawrence. Smith starred alongside Jeff Goldblum as a Marine Corps pilot in Roland Emmerich's science fiction movie Independence Day the following year. The movie was the highest grossing of 1996, with nearly 817 million worldwide box office receipts. He played Agent J in the science fiction movie Men in Black, which was released in 1997. He returned to the character in the movie's follow-ups Men in Black 2, 2002, and Men in Black 3, 2012, Muhammad Ali, a heavyweight boxer who was portrayed by Smith in the 2001 movie Ali. He received nominations for Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama at the Golden Globes and Best Actor in a Motion Picture for his performance. He made appearances in iRobot and the animated movie Shark Tale in 2004. In the romantic comedy Hitch the next year, he played a seasoned dating advisor. In the 2006 biography The Pursuit of Happiness, Smith got nominated for Best Actor at the Academy Awards and the Golden Globes for his depiction of businessman and salesperson Chris Gardner. He portrayed a vigilante superhero in Hancock in 2008, despite mixed unfavorable reviews. The movie became his ninth straight to gross over 100 million in North America and amassed over 624 million globally. Smith received a Golden Globe nomination for his work as Nigerian-American physician Bennett Omalu in the year 2015 film Concussion. He appeared in the action movie Suicide Squad the following year, bringing in over $745 million at the global box office, Aladdin, a live-action movie remake of the 1992 animated picture of the same name, featured Smith as the genie. His highest-grossing movie to date has earned over $1 billion at the global box office. Smith won the Best Actor Academy Award in 2022 for his portrayal of tennis coach Richard Williams in the film King Richard. Emancipation is a true story film to watch when it officially airs. It's a film to gain a better understanding of the importance of freedom. It's also eye-opening to see how far we've come as a society. Yet, we still have a long way to go. We should always remember those who fought for our freedom and continue fighting for equality and justice. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like it, and don't forget to leave a comment below letting us know what you think. We'd love to hear from you, and we will see you next time.